Okay, so we're gonna make a tornado. The first thing we wanna do is import our footage. Next, we're gonna add a little boat into that lake so we can have something for the tornado to destroy later on. Go ahead and shrink that down. Now the boat needs to move with the picture, so we're gonna go ahead and track that other little thing in the boat and then apply the settings from that to the boat. All right, so now we've added another layer and used CC Particle World to turn it into clouds. And then we're gonna add another layer and use CC Particle World to turn it into a tornado. We've used Vortex and a few different settings. Okay, so tornadoes move around a lot, so we're gonna go ahead and use the mesh warp on this and move it around a whole bunch. That way it gives the effect of the tornado changing shapes a lot. All right, so we've added another layer and then put CC Particle World on it. We're gonna use this and parent it down to the bottom of the tornado. That way it moves around and gives the appearance of like debris or dust that the tornado's kicking up. Okay, so we need to change the boat so that it does something cool once the tornado makes contact with it. To do this, we've gone and added a shatter effect to it. So as soon as the tornado touches it, it's going to shatter. Okay, for our final effect, we're just going to go ahead and change the color of the city as the clouds come in. And then keyframe it so it starts out looking like day and then ends up being night. And we've made a tornado. <laughs> Twister? I hardly know her. Lane's <laughs> Scrapper Tutorials are pretty fun to live studio audience. 